it's Lada and you're watching Laura X Annie and it's the 1st of December which means it is now 24 days till Christmas. I have my Rudolph nose, my Rudolph ears, my Christmas tree and my Christmas t-shirt from Primark last year. So give me two seconds and I'm going to take the nose off. Okay so it's December which means I'm going to do like a little Christmas tag you know as you do. So let's get right into it. So question one is what is your favourite Christmas movie or movies? Well you see I have quite a few Christmas movies that I love but I'll have a link up here if you click here and in the down bar that I did my top 10 Christmas movies back on my old channel about last Christmas. On my old channel I did my top 10 Christmas movies, also my top 10 Christmas songs. I did quite a few Christmas vi vi uh, videos last Christmas if you want to go and watch the top 10 movies it's there but for answering this question my favourite Christmas movie of all time is probably Elf or Saving Santa or Scrooged. There's quite a few. Probably Elf. Like I tend to watch that every Christmas. Probably Elf. Question number two. Do you open your presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? We open them on Christmas Day but I know a few people do open them on Christmas Eve. I for the past couple of years have started a little thing where I either do a game on Christmas Eve or and give my parents a little present or I open one present usually from my Auntie Carol on Christmas Eve which is like a little thing I've only started doing for the past couple of years. Question three, do you have a favourite Christmas memory? So this Christmas memory has a lot to say, like there's loads of Christmases that I love. I love like Christmas, Christmas is a great time of year. But recently, um, you know, I was struggling to find what my favourite, all time favourite Christmas memory was. And I think it was Christmas 2014. And it wasn't anything special, to be honest. Like, the meal wasn't that good. We went to the Brigadoon uh, to have Christmas dinner. But I think the reason that that's, like, my favourite Christmas memory is it's the last Christmas with my gran. And also, it's, like, we got all dressed up to go out and we'd not done that since we were, like, I was, like, five. Because we always have Christmas in the house. So I think probably 2014, that Christmas was probably my favourite and also I think that was the year I got my Macbook as well. Mu yeah, it must have been that was the year I got my Macbook. And also I think it was Matt Smith's last Christmas special. It was as well, that was the Christmas special. So yeah, no, I think that's definitely my favourite Christmas was Christmas 2014. Number four, what is your favourite festive food? For that, it's stuffing. Any kind of stuff, see sage and onion stuffing and the balls and the slices inside the chicken. I don't care. That is my favourite, just stuffing. I will have stuffing by itself. Stuffing. 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 Number five, what is the favourite Christmas gift that you've ever received? Well, that is, there's three. So, one of them was my iPhone 4 because I really, really wanted an iPhone 4 and I wasn't expecting it. So I got an iPhone 4 for Christmas and that was like back in 2010 when iPhones were still like humongous and that was the best thing for me was to get an iPhone 4. Um, then there was my MacBook in 2014 which I freaking love. Um, but I think my favourite Christmas gift must have been about... Oh God, I want to say 2004, 2005 and I got a trampoline and I still stand and say that that is my favourite Christmas gift I've ever get, been given was a big trampoline at the back garden because I was not expecting it at all. My mum and dad built it at three in the morning and it was sitting outside in the patio and it snowed that Christmas as well. I always remember that. It was snowing when we were on the trampoline. So that's my favourite gift. Number six, what is your favourite Christmas scent? Uh, I don't really have a favourite Christmas scent because I don't like the normal Christmas scents. I'm not a fan of kind of gingerbread scents, I'm not a fan of, say, of cinnamony scents and stuff like that. But there is a candle by Yankee Candle and I think it's Winter Snow it's called or some, some kind of snow. I love that scent, I think that's my favourite one. Number seven, do you have any Christmas Eve traditions? I did touch on that when I was saying 
Um, I did touch on that when I was talking about question two. Um, yeah, we kind of have a kind of game night, or we usually watch Bond movies. Usually, there's usually Skyfall for some reason is usually on on Christmas Eve, or I think hopefully this year we'll watch Spectre. But usually there's a James Bond, Daniel Craig movie on Christmas Eve that we tend to sit and watch. So yeah, that's we usually just tend to sit and watch that on Christmas Eve and just chill. Uh, Number eight, what tops your tree? So downstairs, we're not putting the tree up this year, probably because I'm away at university. So I'm not going to be there when they open the, like, I'm only going to be home for like a month. I'm not really going to be home that much. And plus, we're not really decorating for Christmas downstairs this year. Because obviously my grand passed away last Christmas, well, last November. So last Christmas, we didn't really do anything. We just sat in our pyjamas in the living room and ate dinner. Usually we have my gran over for Christmas and we sit in the, um, the dining room and just sort of have food. But we're going to do that this year. But I don't think we're putting up a Christmas, like a big Christmas tree. We're getting like, well, I think mum's got another Christmas tree. But as for me, it usually tops, an, an angel tops a tree downstairs. But up here... This is my Christmas tree. It's beautiful. But what tops my tree is this. And it is, oh, it's falling apart. Yeah, I've had to like, I've actually had to sell it together because I've put it up today. But oh God, oh God, it won't work. Okay, so it's this. And it's just a kind of, it's from Sainsbury's and it's a little, or it's from Asda, it's from one of them. Uh, it's from one supermarket and it's just a little thing that I got last year. And my hair's attached to this, but anyway. That's what tops my tree, is this. And it just sits, if I can get that right, like that on my Christmas tree. All cute like. So that's what tops my Christmas tree. Number nine. As a kid, what was the one crazy gift you always asked for but never received? Oh my God, that's really hard. There was never really a big crazy gift that I ever wanted. What fell? Oh Christ. That I ever wanted. Not saying like I'm spoiled or nothing, but I usually kind of got a big thing. I never really asked for anything out of my parents' price range, to be really honest. I've never really asked for anything. I think once I asked for a little brother or sister, I think that was the craziest thing I ever asked for. Or maybe it was a horse at one point, I think. Or I don't know. I don't know really. I actually can't even think what that was. Anyway, on to question number 10. What's the best part of Christmas for you? So the best part of Christmas for me is spending it with my mum and dad and I think this year is going to be a bit poignant because I've moved away to uni so as much as I have been home a few times, my parents have been up a few times, it's going to be quite nice to just spend some time with my mum and dad because I'm going to be working over Christmas as well so it's going to be quite nice on Christmas day because I'll be working the day before and I'll be working the day after but nice on Christmas day just to chill with my mum and dad and I'll probably see my aunties over Christmas and stuff like that and it'll be quite nice and I'm going to go see my birth mum, my little brother over Christmas um, on the 22nd I think I'm going to go see them so it's going to be quite nice to kind of spend Christmas at home and just chill but I think that's the best part of Christmas is spending time with your family and I love giving gifts I love 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 wrapping presents it's so therapeutic it's like me loving I love to iron and I love wrapping presents people think I'm mental but I love it so much so I think that's the best part of Christmas for me and that's it for the Christmas tag so it's officially December so do you know what that means it's vlogmas bitches I am vlogging every day through December until Christmas day I am so excited to be doing this. I am so buzzing. I haven't done it properly in a couple of years. I did it in 2013 and got through every single video. I was so proud of myself. But for the past two years, I have really struggled to do Vlogmas. But this year, it has all changed. I am going to be doing Vlogmas this year, but I'm not going to be doing it on my vlogging channel because it's not really a good channel. But I will be doing it on my old channel. All my Vlogmas videos will be on my old channel. So it's going to be linked there, so go click, subscribe. It should be there or it'll be in the front, it'll be in the down bar, like top link of the down bar. Um, so go subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my old channel, go subscribe to it. Because as of tonight, oh, when night you're watching this at half five, there will be a Vlogmas video for you because I am vlogging every day until Christmas Day. So join me on Monday for a little different video. I'm gonna be doing a letter to my younger self. So I will see you guys on Monday for another video. See you then, bye.